Hi guys. Hi. Let's not let's not make this awkward. Let's not make this awkward. You know who I am. You know what I'm about. You know what I do. We're not gonna act like act all brand new. We're not gonna do the hey, it's been a long time. Oh my god, like where have you been? We're not gonna do that, alright? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Time isn't real. I'm here now just as I have always been. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's me doing that, of course. Hey, hi, hi. I'm Sunset Trey. I'm so grateful to be back on the Flow Network. I'm so grateful to be here right now, sharing this space with you guys. To whoever's watching, I missed you and I love you, and I've missed this space, and I also love this space as well. Just as a reminder, a reassurance that. I very much do love this space and appreciate this space. And I have missed it very dearly. I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm just gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with where I'm at right now. I am at a beautiful park in Calabasas, California. It is it is a high frequency that that we're embodying right now. This environment right here, this is a high frequency. This is just, this park, this, the weather, um, the people, the birds, the plants, the trees, the grass. It's, this is a, this is a very high level environment and I am soaking it all up. And somehow I've attracted it in my life because I, I don't want to, I don't want to constitute myself as a high level being. I don't want to do that. I just too much ego, but I like to I'd like to think that I am embodying a practice of being in a higher frequency, which is why I was deserving of being in this place in the first place. So, here I am. I'm extremely grateful. I'll try to show y'all like a, a 360 view of of it. I mean, it's just a park, you know. It's not like I don't know to the viewer how extravagant it is but for me because i'm so appreciative of simplicity just the beauty in nature the beauty in green green earth and blue sky like that's just you just, that's everything for me um i talk so much with my hands like just so so much hand movement let me try to not real quick this is a uh, this is the view of the park Come on. Y'all heard what the bird said. Come on. This is this is amazing. This is incredible. This is this is everything. <laughs> anyway, hey guys. It's been a minute. I have been traveling and frolicking and wandering and exploring and adventuring new terrains within the world within the geological map and also within my own inner atlas i have been exploring the depths within as we all i'm sure have and i have been exploring the depths without it has been a very beautiful experience for me like i i have like I told you guys from one of the last videos I uploaded here, uh, I got a new job, new uh, work opportunity that came with, or that comes with <laughs> currently still, that comes with flight benefits, comes with travel benefits. And I have very much been using those travel benefits to the nth degree, to the highest degree. I have very much been taking full advantage of those travel benefits but also those travel benefits have has come with me working just a just a, a certain amount of time that i've always been opposed to working like 40 hours a week five days out of the week like you know i'm just not that type of i'm not that type of man honestly i never have been i've never aspired to be i've never wanted to be um that's just something I've always sworn off that I would never do. I'm not going to work 40 hours a week, five days out of the week and have two days off. But unfortunately, 
uh, and kind of fortunately due to the money I've been making doing it I've had to do it you know the job that I'm working the company I work for is an amazing company they take care of their employees very well and I am I've been very spoiled I've been very spoiled despite the sacrifice I've had to make working so much but it's okay because me working as much as I have been working of course it's just like a temporary thing it's not something that's like oh you got to do this for the rest of life like it's like a six month bid and then I bid another six months and hopefully my seniority goes up and I can work part-time that's that's the goal that's the plan that's the vision actually the new bid is coming up and I am praying for part-time I update I got a part-time position ha 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 I got a part-time position ha 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 let's go I don't even know if I can actually physically do what I've been doing with working five days a week and then traveling the two days out of the week and then sometimes I'll have like three days off I'll give a shift to someone in the rare case that someone wants it because nobody wants my fucking shift it's pretty it's, it's 2 15 to 10 45 to be quite frank 2 15 p.m to 10 45 p.m and and le let me make it clear the, the 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 work doesn't start at 2 15 the work starts when i gotta get ready for work and the work doesn't end at 10 45 the work ends when i can finally make it home and take that exhale not when i get in the car on the way home no 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 because that's still work i still gotta get to the you know what i mean but when i finally get home and i'm like uh, that's that's when the work ends <laughs> so i don't i haven't been just working 2 15 to 10 45 i've really been pulling like a 12 30 to like to like 12 a.m i mean i i live like 45 minutes from where i work at so the drive there drive back that's a whole you know what i mean like it's a lot so with that being said all of that work and traveling has taken me away from being able to show up in this space and create content it really has like when i say it really has like it genuinely has when you look at the last video i uploaded back in april with jada when i tell you the shift started like four or five days i need to look at the specifics i swear it started like four or five days or like a week after after that video dropped and then i just disappeared it wasn't intentional i didn't expect it to happen i didn't know how it was going to happen i honestly was planning on quitting and there was other directions I was planning on going, different things I was factoring in. There was different possibilities and opportunities that I was going to, different routes I was going to take uh, instead of just committing to this 215 to 1045 shift. Because I was just like, nah, I can't do that. I don't give a fuck what benefits benefits y'all are offering me. I, I'm i finna go. Like, 215, where's my life? What can I do on those on those days that I work besides go to work? Guess what? I can't do shit i can't do shit bro i cannot do shit when i say i am waking up i get a little a little bit of a rising routine in a little meditation a little yoga here shower maybe or shower after work depends and you know maybe grab some fruit i gotta i gotta drive 45 minutes to to work drive 45 minutes to the airport now i get off right i get off work 10:45. I got to walk to the shuttle. The shuttle takes me back to the employee parking lot, which takes me to my car. And then I got to drive back home. I don't get home till like 12 a.m. And then it's like, what the fuck am I finna do besides wind down, get into my night routine and go the fuck to sleep and then wake up and do that again for five days out of the week. Five days out of the week. And it's like, OK, if I'm working in this job more than anything because of the benefits that I have, what do you think I'm going to do on the two days off that I have? You think I'm going to just sit my ass on the couch and drink drink some wine and and prepare myself for the, the, the work week once again? No. Fuck no. I'm finna fly to Calabasas. <laughs> I'm, finna, I'm, finna, I'm, finna, I'm finna go to Austin, Texas. Or I'm finna, I'm, finna go, I'm finna go to Houston, visit a friend out there. I'm finna go to Chicago, visit a friend out there. Like, I'm finna get going. I'm finna get moving. I'm finna go to Costa Rica uh, for a week. You know what I mean? Find those. Find somebody who can get my off day. Get these days off. Take some of my days so I can go out there and get a week off and relax. Like I'm about to travel. I'm about to get moving. I'm about to go. Cause if not, what the fuck am I working for? 
But even that within itself has been tiring, of course, because traveling takes external work as well. You know, it's like, damn, I already spend five days out of the week at the airport working. And now I have to go back to the airport to go travel. <laughs> so it's just been a lot of airport for me, which I always envision. And this is where this is the part of the video where I'm going to step into what's been going on spiritually for me because I've always envisioned I remember going to visit my friend Tamani when she stayed in North Carolina and I was at the Raleigh Durham airport and I remember being in the airport like damn this is for some reason like this is somewhere I enjoy being in the airport like I, I don't know why I was like I just want to have a life where I'm just not like in the airport in specific, but I'm, I'm, I have motion, you know what I mean? I have motion. I have somewhere important to be like I got, I'm exploring different parts of the world. Like in, in the airport is obviously the place in where you're going to best be able to do that. You know what I mean? That's our most, uh, optimal way of, of, uh, of travel at the moment. So I'm like, I just remember that feeling like, damn, I love being in the airport. I love being like, having like my bags in my hand, like having somewhere to go, just like having a purpose, you know what I mean? Like having some shit to, not some shit to do just to do it, just to be busy, but because it it, it, it feels like, okay, I have an important, important role in my life. Like I'm doing something, you know what I mean? I have um, somewhere to go, somewhere to be in, and I'm exploring, I'm adventuring, like I fucked with it. And and it, fast forward now, I'm met, I'm met where I'm at. I'm like, wow, bro, I have been in many, many of airports, many different ones. And I have just been renting cars, <laughs> flying to cities for free, renting cars, getting handed the keys and just going wherever the fuck I want to go, doing whatever I want to do. It's just been so liberating, y'all. This has been so, such an exercise of freedom. A freedom that adolescent Trey, oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, adolescent Trey, he is so happy right now. He is so happy right now. When I tell y'all the past, present, and future exist all at once, I'm telling y'all adolescent Trey which may seem like oh you from years ago no now he is happy now because of what's happening now like younger me is fulfilled now because of what's happening in the now truly I can feel I can feel my younger self just enjoy and in, in just and in, in, in pride literally just pri just prideful and proud uh, and happy and free and just so childlike because of the freedom I'm experiencing right now. <sighs> Y'all, this is, this is honestly surreal for me, the way that I'm living. Despite all the external work and how um, tiring i kind of say like it is which it's a it's, it's duality right it, ha it has been i have been moving more than i've ever moved in my life and i'm someone who's very adamant on just being present and being still you know i'm someone who's very adamant on that i love doing nothing however the freedom i have attained has just been mind-blowing to me like I'm in Calabasas right now and I can go anywhere I want and buy anything I want and eat anywhere I want. I have the money, I have the resources, I have the the freedom to do whatever I want. I'm living a fucking dream. Y'all, I am living a dream. This is this was Trey's dream. And what makes it even more my dream is because I've been in the opposite state of being where I felt stagnant, bro. Not even I felt I was. I didn't have but I had no car. Last year, I had no car. At the beginning of last year, I had no car. I had no income. I was living in a house that had squirrels in the walls and fucking possums were sneaking through the back door, bro. 
house that was just broken the fuck down. Grateful to had to have had a house, but dog, it was terrible. It was bad. Nothing to my name. No car. No funds. Barely any resources. Just in debt. Because I went through what I went through last year. Me being where I'm at right now makes makes everything 10 times, 100 times, an abundance of times more fulfilling. I, I, I was crying, dog. Like, I might insert a little clip of me, <laughs> of me crying. <laughs> I filmed a little bit of it. I was crying because my inner child was, he just wasn't, he wasn't happy. My present now wasn't happy. My future self was, I was disconnected from him. I couldn't even see him, you know what I mean? Or maybe I could see him, but I wasn't connected to him at the time. I just felt so confined and so constrained and just binded by density it was just like bro i was so perplexed because it was like what the fuck am i doing all of this what do i have all of this spiritual knowledge and awareness and information for if i'm in this situation you know what i mean like what the fuck does all of this even mean all this 5d esoteric advanced studies and shit that i've been doing and even years of yoga and meditation what the fuck like what is what is that done for me if I'm in this position where I'm not I'm not free I I I I'm sad as fuck I don't I don't I don't even know where the fuck I'm finna live where I'm finna move where I'm finna go like you know literally at the bottom bro and like starting from the fucking bottom but that's where I that's how I knew that there was nowhere else to go but up I just didn't know the way in which it was gonna happen and it took me getting to that low place in order for me to to know that like all right nah i gotta i gotta take baby steps i can't i can't overwhelm myself with everything i gotta start one by one first let me like start here maybe get this job in this place that i don't really want to work i'm gonna tell y'all where i was working at bro i was working at kroger on old national for anybody who lives in atlanta and knows what old nat is bro Old Nat is the fucking ghetto, bro. I am from the hood. I haven't been in the hood in years. And I was thinking like, oh, shit, okay. I'm a, all right, I got to move to Old Nat temporarily. But, you know, I know my niggas be out there, but they my niggas. I love, I love black people. You know what I mean? I grew up around black people. I, I have a family full of black people. My friends are black people. Well, no, 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 no. Black people and niggas are different. No, let me, let me go back to what I was saying. I was, I grew up around niggas. You know what I mean? I have nigga in me. I'm very much a nigga to some degree. Um, in a healthy way though, not, not in a bad way. And I, you know, I love my niggas. Let me not discriminate. Let me give it a chance. Right. Let me not, let me not like have a pessimistic attitude on it like i'm i'm from the projects i can there ain't nothing new i ain't been there in a minute but there ain't nothing new um yeah that was that was um yeah yeah that optimism that i had um that shit got shot to the ground that was that was a very ghetto ass atrocious heinous experience bro i was on facetime with ab and trinity one time at a park out there while i stayed on old national and I'm talking to them, we having a good conversation. And this nigga walks up to my bike, which is like a, like a few, uh, rookie mistake. That shit, it's, it's not close enough for me to, this nigga walks up to my bike like, yo, yo, can I do a trick on your bike real quick, bro? And I'm like, nah, nah, that's not even my bike. That's my homie's bike. He, he keeps walking up to the bike and I'm like, yeah, nah, bro. Don't you know? Don't worry about. It. I don't need to see no trick. And he's just like, uh, yeah, baby. And he just gets on the bike and just fucking starts to pedal off. I'm like, bitch, and I get up and start running. <laughs> 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 
bro, I started chasing this nigga down the street, and he with his he was with his other homies too. So they they all planned this shit. Whatever. This is a whole side story, but they all planned this shit, and they start taking off, and they front of him, and he down the bike pedaling with fucking fear in his eyes, hoping I don't catch him. I was pretty close, but he caught a streak down the hill. He caught like some momentum, yeah, and he just. Yeah, it's just like, all right, bro. Nigga stole my bike, and the old national, the old National Kroger is ghetto as fuck. And I was, I was the cashier, and it was, I've seen, I saw some crazy shit. But that's a whole different story for another day. Back to what I was saying. I was down bad. I was really down bad. And honestly, y'all, the position I'm in now is just, I just thank God every day. I thank God every day, and not, not the God that's like, oh, Sky Daddy. I want to make that clear. Not Sky Daddy, and oh, he's watching me and judging me. No, that's not how I look at God. Uh, most of you know that, but I need to make that clear. When I say I thank God, I'm talking about that universal oneness, that, that eternal, unified field of consciousness, nature, spirit, divine spirit that lives in all of us. I thank God... <clears throat> every day because <clears throat> there's an unlimited infinite never-ending access to God that's just such a beautiful thing you ever seen like a waterfall run and just know like and put into perspective that it never stops that it never stops it's been going for 24 hours like non-stop years decades centuries eras like millenniums that's 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 what we have access to. That's what we have access to. That that eternal flow, that eternal abundance, that eternal eternity, we have access to it at all times and we are it. It's not separate from us. And I'm I'm so grateful that I've 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 realized this. And I I want to and I don't know how long this video is going to be because I I don't it's so much to update you guys on and I, and I can talk about how I've gotten to that process and how I've gotten to that realization and under and really embodied the understanding that we are eternally blessed to have the God within and let me let me let me get into it I'm gonna get into it a little bit because <clears throat> I'm just kind of free-flowing so I'm gonna get into it <clears throat> Trying to drink some water. I'm gonna give this video like 10 more minutes. Plus, I wanna explore more outside of just talking to this phone screen. No, 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 no. Outside of talking to you guys who are watching, this isn't, this is just a phone screen right now for me in this moment. But once I press upload, it's, it's me and you. Whoever's watching, it's me and you. It's me and you, heart to heart. This is an intimate, intimate experience right here. This is an intimate intention from my heart to yours. Whoever's watching, I love you. I love you. For real, for real. <clears throat> All right, back to what I was saying. Let's, let's start with nothingness. That's where we're gonna start. Let's start with nothingness. I'm gonna make this quick. And because I'll talk about it more in other videos, I'll, I'll continue to elaborate on this. Let's start with nothingness. When we are going through experiences like I mentioned just a few minutes, minutes ago, me being down bad, not having anything, and just like being in a very terrible place, right? When we go through experiences like that, we look at it so subjectively. But what we don't understand is that if everyone everyone on earth at some point has had this experience or has the potential to be in this experience it it's an objective situation that's taking place and that's how i started to look at it i want to say thanks to dr joe dispenza and the book becoming supernatural because i was fasting and because i was fasting and i started to create newer opportunities for new possibilities to exist in my life due to not just doing things I've already done like eating and you know which can be very habitual and just like shit that I was already used to doing because I decided to like start fasting and create possibilities for new things to exist I ended up running into um, this book 
that Mars, my friend Mars had gave me, shouts out to Mars, or she let me borrow, but I've been holding onto it for a minute. I saw it at the bottom of like this uh, this trash bag I had like a bunch of stuff in it from like my apartment that I stayed in. And I was like, oh shit, I thought like I lost this book in my transition process. But no, it showed up at the right time because I was fasting and I was taking care of myself and I was being righteous and being super intentional. <clears throat> so it showed up, right, as it as it did, just miraculous. Like, oh, okay, all right, well, I didn't think much of it. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm gonna start reading this, you know what I mean? I'm, why not? <sighs> Y'all, nothingness. When I say it has been extremely helpful for me, <laughs> not even helpful, like this shit has been a game changer for me to shift my perspective out of being subjectively me. We are going to constantly look at things from a limited perspective if we do not know how to embody the consciousness of nothingness. Just being nothing, being nothing, being nowhere, no identity, no sense, no no time, no know anything when you are into in in tapped into a state of nothingness you are tapping into a realm of unlimited possibilities because you're no longer being identified with work or where you are currently or the people you know or who you think you are or your body or I know it's absolutely crazy and astounding to to really do it to really embody it like I think about people in my life all the time and I, I know that <laughs> majority of people in my life just do not, have never had that experience and they don't even, like if they really embody just like bringing their awareness to just absolutely nothing, no sense anything, no, I'm smelling this, I'm thinking this, I'm feeling this, I'm touching this, I'm hearing this, I'm seeing this. When you just get beyond that and you're, you're just in a state of pure nothingness, you understand how much of a how much of an illusion you have been in this whole time your whole life pretty much like you don't you don't realize how much of an illusion you've been in this whole time and if you are so constantly continuously throughout your life dialed into the illusion and and making your decisions and creating your beliefs and being hardwired and conditioned and programmed by the illusion of 3D of the physical physical world, you are you are going to end up in distress. At some point, you are going to end up in the illusion as what the fuck it is. It's it, like it's not going to feel good. Does it, good? it? Tell me, does it feel good to be in an illusion? Delusion and illusion is one, is two different things. People talk about delusion. You can be in the delusion because you created your delusion if you're going to do it consciously. Being a conscious delusion. That means, okay, I'm imagining my reality. But being in an illusion, that's being in a false sense of reality. That's literally being in a false world. That's being in a false creation. And like you're trying to navigate the world and, 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 and live an abundant life through like controlling matter instead of being in the realm of where all things derive from when we look at space and we see that black emptiness in between each star like those stars wouldn't be there without that black void so when we're going within ourselves and we're meditating and we're tapping into that like nothingness you don't see anything it's just pitch black like that's where everything you've even created your life came from but majority of the time it happened from the subconscious it happened from the unconscious and some things of course happen consciously but majority happened from the subconscious majority of those things happened from the unconscious because that's that's majority of of our framework and how we even navigate our thought thought processes through the subconscious so if you're not really dialing in and really tapping into that inner state of nothingness, you are going to be defined by what's around you. And you're also ultimately going to be controlled by what's around you and being manipulated and being programmed and conditioned. The physical reality is a byproduct of the spiritual and the energetic. So if you're not tapping into that, then what, you know, what are you really doing? You're really missing the point. And I was missing the point. I was truly missing the point until... 
I started to read Becoming Supernatural and luckily for me, I'm already, already an experienced meditator. So everything that was being mentioned in his book was just the science behind what's happening biologically when you meditate, which I think a lot of people need because people who just look at meditation as just a spiritual practice, people are already, there's, I know a lot of people who just look at spiritual people like, you know, or people, everyone's spiritual, but look at people who are embracing spirituality and and who, you know, give off that energy. They look at them like, some people are just like, oh. it usually be them fucking Capricorns and Sagittarius that be like, like, uh, those fucking, uh, fucking weird ass spiritual people who, who don't wear deodorant and shit like that. I do wear deodorant. I'm just, you know, putting a general consensus around it. Those people who don't wear deodorant and talk to their rocks and want to fucking sit outside and shit like i know how they look at it they look at meditation in this like they, there's already a stigma attached to it but when you read becoming supernatural he makes sure that you are you are looking at it from a scientific perspective so that it's neutralized and luckily for me because i've i've already applied the spiritual aspect towards meditation i was lacking that part of it and once i got that once i got the the science behind what's biologically hormonally um energetically genetically um chemically happening within my body when i'm going within and 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 thinking consciously and setting intentions on on my meditation that's when it all changed that's when that's when shit got real it became applicable and that's when my life started to change and we'll get more into that later because I think park security might be kicking me out because I'm not supposed to be here. This is really like a homeowners, homeowners association, Calabasas Homeowners Association Park. But he kind of let me stay here. Like he talked to me and he's like, nah, you good? Just like, don't be here too long. And you know, he's, he's seen me, whatever. But no, that I'm a, that's where I'm gonna get into a little bit later. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later, okay? Don't, don't, don't shoot me, all right? It's just this is gonna be a long ass video trying to update y'all on everything but i will say that's this is where i will end it i want you guys to know because like i don't want to just get on, get on here and talk about how great my life is and talk about me and the profound realizations and the, the evolution through spirit i've i've i have taken in my life i really don't want to do that because i want it to benefit the viewer i want like not because I'm, I'm trying to i feel obligated to to like help on some shit i'm really just talking like i'm really just talking just like somebody will talk about sports just like somebody would talk about some gossip shit like i'm just talking you know what i mean at the end of the day but i i do want to make an intention that like i'm here not to talk just about myself and how amazing my life is like i already know my fucking life is amazing i don't need to tell y'all that so you can validate it some more like i don't give a fuck about that like i'm already living it and trust me if i gave a fuck i wouldn't have spent months away from away from this channel um doing what i've been doing because i've been focused more on how life feels rather than how it looks and what people on the internet think of me but i do want to genuinely just be of service to the collective consciousness and, I, and I'm only sharing this because I just want you to know if you're in a bad situation, anything can change, but it starts with you changing. And um, I'm going to get more into how I made those changes in another video. I'll get more into like the practice and the formula that I've developed in my meditation that has got me into this very beautiful, blissful, free, abundant reality where I am doing wherever the fuck I want to for the most part we still got a few more tweaks we're almost there but for the most part i'm i'm living better than i've ever lived in my life and i'm exceptionally grateful and i feel better than i feel ever than i ever have in my life and more than anything the most important thing before i go is that i have solidified hear me hear me hear me hear me close closely hear me very closely i have solidified this understanding that I have an eternal, eternal access to the divine within me. And I have the certainty, the security within myself that knows that I can shift my reality at any time that I want to because I am the conscious creator. This, this feeling that I have embodied 
will never leave me ever again. I, I, I have ingrained this within every chakra center of my body and my being. I know now more than ever that I am creating my reality and I will never be a victim to what's happening on the external ever again. I will never let what the fuck out here control how I feel. I have found the key to self-regulate my own joy, my own peace, my own happiness, and even my own negative emotions. I am in control. Wait, scratch that. Control, I don't wanna use that word. I am in power. I am the creator and so are you because control could be a little too like too like you know, when you try to control things too much you get a little anxious and then get super like attached to what you're trying to control and you know, that's not what I'm trying to give off I am I am in power and I am the source of what I'm experiencing here in this reality and so are you I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to be devoting myself back to this channel and getting into the groove of things. Um, my schedule should be changing very soon. Part-time, part-time, so I can invest into this full-time. That's what we're putting out there. And um, yeah, more travel, more abundance, more more collaborations with with this my gem for show sure. for show sure. y'all gonna see more of that i promise you and um more life more life more love damn bro i look good as fuck i do i look good